Welcome back. Thank you for joining us. Today we'll be testing this Tactical Scorpion Gear Aramid Small Sleeve. We'll be shooting this AR500 brand steel plate that you might recognize from our last video. In our last video we shot it up enough that the base spall coating has been completely removed. So all of the spall will in theory be caught by this liner. We'll be shooting this today with three different guns. This 1911 firing 230 grain wolf full metal jacket. This AR-15 firing 55 grain wolf full metal jacket. And this Schmidt Rubin K-11 firing 174 grain PPU full metal jacket. This is our highly scientific setup for today's video. We have the plate inside the spall sleeve bungee corded to a milk jug and we'll be placing this cardboard box over to see if any spall escapes the sleeve. We'll be starting with two rounds from the 1911. So our first two rounds with the 1911, as far as we can tell, the spall liner completely captured the spall. We have no penetration to the box. Everything looks nice and clean. Next we'll be firing two rounds from the AR. So the two shots from the AR produced some noticeable spalling that escaped the sleeve. Looks like just on the one side though, maybe a little bit out the top, but definitely a fair amount of spalling made it out the side. So the GoPro died for the first two shots of the AR, so we're gonna go ahead and shoot it two more times. So shots three and four with the AR let quite a bit more spalling through. We have some pretty significant damage to the box on the right side this time. A little more to the top, no more on the left, but you can see on the sleeve where it let a whole bunch of spalling through. Lastly, we'll be firing this Schmidt Rubin K11. So our last shot with the K11 on the already weakened spall liner did quite a bit of damage. We have quite a bit of spalling on the box that wasn't there from the AR, as well as a great deal of visible damage to the edges of the liner. So what did we learn today? This Tactical Scorpion Gear Aramid Spall Liner completely blocked the spalling from our first two rounds of 45 ACP. The first two rounds from the AR let through a little bit of spalling, started to take some damage. The second two rounds from the AR let through a fair bit of spalling, and the thing was completely finished off by our last round with the K11. It is important to note that we were shooting a bare steel plate with no base lining of its own and the spalling we saw using this sleeve is significantly reduced from what we saw in our first video where we shot just the plate with the base coat that comes with an AR500 steel plate. So I think this Tactical Scorpion Gear Aramid Spall Liner will reduce the spalling you see, especially if used in conjunction with a coated plate. Um, overall, I'm fairly happy with what we saw today. Thank you for watching.